you guys more of the 613. I'm Judith, and my husband, Mikhail, and the new category is dietary laws. I'll have five videos I broke down. Let's see, there's 27 of them, 27 mitzvot, breaking them down into five different videos. So here's video number one, ready? Okay, commandment 143, to examine the marks in cattle. And then the Jewish FAQ has parentheses, it says, so as to distinguish the clean from the unclean. Leviticus chapter 2 verse, I'm sorry, chapter 11 verse 2, Chabad has it listed as commandment 176 to examine the signs of animals to distinguish between kosher and non-kosher. Yeah, it's not signs and wonders or like signs like a, a medium. It's for the sacrificial system. Okay, so 11-2, correct? Yeah. Right, Carl, 11-2 states speak to the children of israel saying these are the creatures that you may eat from among the, all the animals that are upon the earth that's it yep and so uh, verse three says every animal that has a split hoof which is completely separated into double hooves and uh, that brings up its cud that one you may eat but this one is what you shall not eat from among those that bring up their cud and have a split hoof camel for it brings up its cud but its hoof is not split it is unclean to you verse 5 and the hyrax for it brings up its cud but its hoof is not split it is unclean to you and the hare for it brings up its cud but its hoof is not split it is unclean to you and the pig for its hoof is split and its hoof is completely separated but does not chew a cud it is unclean to you you shall not eat their flesh nor shall you touch their carcass they are unclean to you so there you go that one has context well, the next one is about fish, and at the very end, I know it talks about the creeping things on the ground, which I know is coming soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. Okay, Commandment 144 says not to eat the flesh of unclean beasts. That one is Leviticus 11.4. Um, Chabad has it listed as Commandment 180. says not to eat non-kosher animals. All right, so uh, 11.4. But this is what you shall eat from among those that bring up their cud or that have split hooves. The camel for brings up its cud, but, this, but its hoof is not split. It is unclean to you. Can we keep going? It's a mm -hmm. semicolon. Sure. Okay, verse 5. And the hyrax for brings up its cud, but does not have his, his hoof split. It is unclean to you. Uh, verse 6. And the hare for it brings up its cud, but is not, but his hoof is not split. It is unclean to you. Another semicolon. Verse 7. And the pig, for it is, for its hoof is split, and its hoof is completely separated, but is not chewed with cud, and is unclean to you. Period. Thank you. Yes. One forty-five to examine the marks in fish. It actually says fishes on the ju the Jew FAQ, but fish. And then in parentheses, so as to distinguish the clean from the unclean. Leviticus 11, 9, and then Chabad has it listed as 178 to examine the signs of fish to distinguish between kosher and non-kosher. So 11, 9. Okay, so it states, by Kra 11, 9, this you may eat from everything that is in the water, colon, everything that has fins and scales in the water, in the seas, and in the streams, those you may eat, period. And then it elaborates further. Okay. This is one of those, honestly, I recommend everybody look at it. Like the whole chapter. The, the, whole, the whole thing. And look at it in two contexts. What goes into the body through the mouth and what goes into the body through the eyes. Because it has a lot to do with the spiritual uncleanliness as well. Okay. 146. Not to eat unclean fish. Leviticus 11.11. 11. So the first one is to examine... And now the eating part. This one says not to eat. The Chabad has it listed as 182 not to eat non-kosher fish. Okay. Right, Kra 1111. And they shall remain as an abomination to you. You shall not eat of their flesh and you shall not abominate their carcass. Period. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 147. To examine the marks in fowl. So as to distinguish the clean from the unclean, Deuteronomy 14.11. Chabad has it listed as 177. To examine the signs of fowl, to distinguish between kosher and non-kosher. It's Deuteronomy. Right. 
Deuteronomy what? 1411. Got it. Devarim 1411 states, Every clean bird you may eat, this is what you shall not eat. Oh, whoops. That's it. There was a period there. Every clean bird you may eat. Only the clean ones. Okay, the next one is in Leviticus. This is Wash it off one. and put some salt in it. Massage it in there. Sorry. Go ahead. I just watched Which her helps. culturize the, salt, the, the, the chicken. chicken. Oh, yeah, that's foul. But it's unfoul foul. <laughs> yeah. Chick-fil-A is, is not kosher. Chicken, kosher, co not the way it's prepared. It's not kosherized. Sorry. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. 148. <laughs> not to eat unclean fowl. So that's a Levit Leviticus 11.13. And Chabad has it listed as commandment 181. Not to eat non-kosher fowl. But I didn't take my bookmark out. 11.13, correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, Vayikra 11.13 states, These shall you abominate from among the birds. They may not be eaten. They are an abomination. Colon, the nasher, the perets, and the otsnia. Semicolon, verse 14, the da'a and the ayah, according to its kind. Semicolon, verse 15, every orev, according to its kind. Verse 16, more semicolons. The bas ya'ana, the tachmos, the shachaf, and the nets according to its kind, semicolon, verse 17, the kos, the shalach, and the yanshuf, verse 18, the tin shemes, the kaas, and the racham, verse 19, the kasida, and the anafa according to its kind, the dukhafas, and the atelef. Never heard of those. Uh, it's interesting that when you read... The previous area, it's all in English. And then this one is just completely in Hebrew. So, yeah. homework. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's it for this video. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Usually we don't do commentary. So I'm yeah. going to recommend looking in the New Testament. But it doesn't say what you think it says regarding, by this statement, Yeshua declares all these animals to be clean. Mm -mm. You guys need to look that scripture up for yourself and investigate that that was added later. It has nothing to do with context at all. It has nothing to do with the context of that, that scripture. It just, just, uh, how do I put this nicely? Yeah, yeah, delicately. Delicately. It was added by somebody who wanted it there because he wanted to enjoy his foods. And yeah, that's the it nicest, fits their way, agenda. nicest way to say it. Shalom. Okay, bye.